The postman must have left it at the door. here, Sammy. What is it? Uh, Fatnagu? How are you feeling, dear? I'm not doing well. I'm not well at all. Why didn't you tell me? If you knew about them, why didn't you ask me why I kept those letters? You should have told me, Maryam. Fatnagu, I, I, uh... You also thought that I was lying about the letters as the others did. And what's worse, everyone talked about me when I wasn't even there. Dear, I never thought you kept them thinking about Mustafa, but the thing is, I... Oh, please don't even try. I am so offended and so sad about what you genuinely think about me deep down. Don't you know me? I thought we knew each other very well. That's my fault. I'm not saying it excuses my actions, but uh, believe me, I also didn't think that Mukadiz would do something like that. We even asked her indirectly. We basically showed her that we suspected her. Goodness, Kadir even asked her straightforwardly if she had anything to do with hiding the letters, and she told him to his face that she didn't. Wow, Mukadis is all you people ever talk about. She denied every part of it, and we didn't push her hard in order not to create any problems just before the wedding. Otherwise, none of us suspected you, sweetheart. Be sure of that. All but Karem did. Otherwise, he wouldn't have left. I told him that what he was doing was wrong. Ugh, that woman can be so awful. I don't care about her anymore, but I am sad for my brother. Is he angry with me or just offended? No, not at all. Does he ever get angry with you? He knows who the correct one is. Oh, but the poor guy, he's always in the middle. For his sake, I tried to bear her, but I can't anymore. This was the final step across the abyss, I think. It was the time to stop that woman, I think. So how is my brother doing? He's looking for a house with Kadir. We don't want them to move out, Fatma Gul. We can manage them, but they are insisting on it. I understand, but it'll be better if they leave. You can't find a better place for the price. It is a very good location. There's a lot to do in here. Just a whitewash is enough. We have better ones, gentlemen, but the rent is higher than this. I like, I like. I think this is good. I think we can rent it. Could you give us a second, please? Rami, come with me. Come here. Of course. Talk. Check it out, and you can decide then. Come here, Rami. Rami, this place is a mess, and it needs a lot of work. Oh, uh, is it? OK, fine. He mentioned other houses. We can ask him to show them to us. We have some extra time, right? Well, he got us here by saying it was the best one. If this is the best, who knows what's the worst? No, no, it's OK. I can, uh, I can deal with this place. I can paint it, and it will look really good. You don't understand. You think it's easy to refurbish a house? The rent's cheap, but what about the down payment and the deposit? It's too much, and uh, no way. You already have a house, so why buy another one? But what else can we do? We have no other choice. And don't you forget about the transportation fee. 
We don't have any furniture. There won't be a transportation fee. You said it yourself. You don't have any furniture. Another thing to pay for. Oh, no. We don't need that much, Kadir. Just, uh, just two beds and, and a table with chairs, and that's all for now, I think. Yes, but what about the children? They need furniture, extra things, and electronic devices? I mean, I'd understand if you had nowhere to go, Rami, but you have a house. We do, but it's not going well. You see yourself that it's not going very well. It can get better. Just wait for everything to calm down. Don't leave in such a rush. We must think about it for a bit. Then you can stay a little bit longer if you want. If we still have problems, then we'll consider moving. But I don't think now is the right time. Definitely not after what happened today. So please, Rami, you must trust me on this, okay?